Tonight, multiple schools facing tough decisions as they walk the line between keeping students safe from COVID-19 and giving them a quality education. I'm telling all the parents of this district right now that our community did not get their act together and we are going to have to make some really hard choices here really soon. And so get your plans in place for what you need to do. I'm saying that right now from the dais. It might not be a vote. It might just be we can't open the damn doors. Tonight, school leaders in the Shawnee Mission School District fear the inevitable is near. The number of COVID-19 cases could potentially force students to go back to remote learning. Currently, high schoolers are hybrid and elementary students are in person. 41 issues reporter Errol Rothfield explains what could trigger the district's decision. As Johnson County recorded more COVID-19 cases Tuesday, Jenny Coleman planted one white flag after another. They're staggering. The numbers are staggering. Each flag represents two students in the Shawnee Mission School District who are currently not in school because of COVID-19, which is why Coleman, a parent and teacher in the district, is calling for remote learning. I think we're asking for trouble and we are... We are playing a very risky game if that continues. A couple hundred yards away, the Shawnee Mission School Board held a special session with the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment to discuss what the district should do. According to our data, because these kids and staff members aren't really contracting it in schools, so why move us into the red? Based on new COVID-19 cases increasing by the day, Johnson County has been in the red zone for more than two weeks. But the county's health department has not recommended schools change their current learning model. A lot of the spread that we are seeing are uh, occurring outside of our schools. And yes, if this spread continues, it puts a lot of strain on the ability of our school districts uh, to keep their schools open. In the Shawnee Mission School District, 825 students and staff are currently in isolation or quarantine. This year, the district has seen more staff resign, retire, take family medical leave, or leave of absences than ever before. I would tell you that I'm concerned about our ability to, to, to staff schools. And this is the tipping point the district believes will drive learning online. We're looking at our internal numbers, and if they continue to get worse, then at some point it's probably going to force our hand on a decision about if we're going to have to move to remote only. Reporting in Johnson County, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.